All right, welcome back. This is part four now. Uh, it's like it's like every new Mega Man game adds a new part to it. It seems like wow. Um, yeah, may as well grab that. Okay, what else do I need to grab? I need to grab some of this. Yay! Ah, uh, so we're at the we're in the home stretch basically. Ow, fucker! How, does, how do you still throw that from beyond the grave? Uh, yeah, I don't want some energy. Oh well, meh. Whatever. <laughs> mm. I have got like one of the stuffiest noses ever today. It seems like. Uh. Uh. Yep. There we go. And drop. And drop. And jump. Sounds like an aerobics video. And jump. And slide. And drop. And jump. And wiggle. And giggle. And he 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 he. So, uh, uh, oh, and 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 oh oh, who is? Okay, who is sending me that? Somebody sent me an email. It was a Facebook uh, group invite uh, that said, "Please put Jesus back and help join this cause. Please put Jesus back in everything." Uh, I think that's part of the problem of this country, you know. And um. Yeah, I know. It's, it's. I know some people are gonna write. They're like, "Dude, uh, how is that part of the problem?" Well, okay. To be fair, it's not Jesus himself, because you know he seemed to have a pretty bitchin' message. You know, don't. It's pretty much don't be dicks. You know, this is what I got out of it. Just don't be dicks to each other. But yet, you see religious people all over the place say, you know, they're being dicks. You know, and it's not re all religious people, of course not. I mean, and if you can't, you know, they're the ones. You know, it's mostly it. Bleh. Ah, I cannot speak today, and I have a rehearsal tonight. <laughs> so, um, but um, no, um, no, certainly it's not all religious people. Because if it was all religious people, then, well, <laughs> you know, I'd be in a, in a town full of well, I would definitely be in a town full of bigots instead of maybe in a town full of bigots. But um. Ah, excuse me, but, um, where was I? What was I thinking? Oh, yeah, so, they wanted to put Jesus back in everything, and, you know, if you have religion, uh, I will be honest, if you have your own religion, as long as you're not harming anybody with it, you know, and as long as you understand that, you know, you shouldn't take it too seriously, then that's fine. If, if, you, if you leave it as it should be, and it should be totally harmless, as long as you leave it that way, then you you will not really hear me complain much. You know, I may still make fun of it, because, well, that's me, but you won't hear me complain about it. You won't hear me say, yeah, um, your religion's fucked up because of this, or people who represent your religion are fucked up because of this, mostly. You know, and that goes for all religions. Um, why am I talking about religions when I'm taking on Robot Masters? Ugh. I want to see somebody build a. Sh I want to see somebody worship one of these guys just for the fun of it. Ah, see, I drained all my top spin on this asshole. Wait, I don't need to do that. I can do this because there are alternate ways of killing the robot masters easily. <laughs> Each one of them takes seven hits from their own weapon, which is weird. Weird as hell. Okay. For you, we need Needle Cannon. Uh, ow! Yeah, you're an Ophidiophobe's nightmare. Come here. There you go. That's strange. And finally... Well, excuse me. Yeah, Burp's wanting to try to come out, but it's never coming out. Oh! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There, die. Go away. I'm done with these, so let's go on. And what do we need most of? Um, top spin for sure. Because we're going to need that for the final battle. Yes. They give you the shittiest weapon to use against the final boss here. <laughs> oh, man. But you know what? It works. Uh, let's see. I need hard knuckle as well. Okay. Um. Uh, what are 
what's in these first? Hey, one up. And what about this one? Energy. Yay. So, hard knuckle. Ooh, yeah. And like I said, still got kind of semi stuff nose or sinus or whatever. You know, like you needed to know that, right? <laughs> but, um, yay, this thing is like taking forever to get on screen so I can damage it. It's like he's scared. I don't wanna, 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 I don't wanna. And one more. Boom! And if you're good enough, you can use Hard Knuckle for the whole fight. If you're like me and you're good at what you do. Mwah. And boom! Right to the face. Poof. Punch you in the face. <laughs> uh, and he's begging. He's already begging. But wait. That's not the real Wily. What the fuck? Your head's all springy. So we have to go and find the real Wily. If you'll notice, no, that was not Gamma. And let's see, we got this. And jump up here. I'm not going to worry about that energy tank. I've got plenty. Thanks, though. I mean, i got seven energy tanks. Uh, what's... You know what, I'll go ahead and fill up the Magna Missile. I don't really need it, but... Uh, let's see. Start off with Rush Coil. You know, because this is probably... It's not the easiest final boss ever. Far from it. But, um, if you could do this, then you're pretty much set. Especially since Hard Knuckle, okay. Jump. Ba boom Boom. Boom. And boom. Something I never was able to notice when I originally played it is, uh, this is all one life meter. It's not two separate life meters, as I initially thought. Uh, ooh, that's not good. And then initially, yes, another initially, it was uh, Search Snakes that was one of the weapons you could use to actually beat Wily. And uh, I didn't find out until later that um, that the uh, top spin was actually the best one. But um, Search Snakes work quite well, too. It's not as good as the top spin, obviously. And this is the end. Yay. We're going to see the blocks fall. We're going to Boom. Boom. Yeah. It's like, uh-oh. Where's Dr. Wily? Oh, no. Too late. Uh, yeah, you were standing on top of him. But um, a little few final thoughts about this one. Um, actually, that was this fun run, of course. Um, this marks the halfway point of the six NES Mega Man games. And I'm actually thinking of, um, of uh, going through uh, Mega Man 7, 8, 9, and 10 as well. Um, still going to consider that. I'll think more about that as I get closer to the end of Mega Man 6. But for now, I hope you enjoyed my run of Mega Man 3. Released one part a day. And I think I'll keep up with this format the rest of the time. Um, but keep up you know, keep your eye on that. Um, I'll have my widget review out uh, the week. Uh, let's see, it's the week of the 18th, I think. Is when that one's supposed to be? Not 18th. Um, 14th, rather. I'm sorry, the 14th. So um, keep that in mind. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of talking a little bit through all of this, so if you're probably just looking at that and ignoring me anyways. I could probably just say anything like, um, titty, 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 titty. <laughs> nah. But, um, and it's really sad that I can't get the background music to work with my headset mic, because this is actually, you know, my number one Mega Man tune here that's playing the Proto Man theme. But, um, alright. So, um, next time we'll start Mega Man 4. And until then, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.